Hi, I heartily welcome you all to the today's English class. And in this class, we are going to continue the story that was discussed in the previous class. In the previous class, we were discussing the story Monday Morning Blues, and it was the eighth chapter in our English textbook. It was a story written by the author Mark Twain. Mark Twain is not his actual name. The actual name of the author is Samuel Langhorne Clemens, shortly called as Samuel Clemens. He was the author of the story. And Monday Morning Blues is an extract from the story The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Yes, Tom Sawyer, one of the humorous stories of all time. And this one is an extract from that story. Tom was a mischievous boy who was living with his aunt Polly and cousin Mary. Tom had a half brother named Sid Sawyer, shortly called as Sid. Tom and Sid they were sleeping on the bed, and it was Monday morning. Monday morning, it's the day to go to school. Tom was thinking about an idea to avoid going to school. He was searching sickness in all parts of his body. But he found nothing in the first time. He looked again and again. First, he got a small stomach ache, but very soon it grew weak and died. He got no ache in his body. And suddenly he remembered something. Once doctor had told about a sickness that made a patient lie in bed for two or three weeks, and it threatened to make him lose a finger. And he came up with an idea. But you know what? Tom knew no symptoms and nothing about that disease. But it seemed worthwhile for him to act like that he has that sickness. So he caught his toe and started groaning louder and louder. Near to him was Sid lying on the bed. He's groaning louder and louder, but from Sid he got no response. So. Tom was resting for a while and then started groaning louder and louder. And this time, Tom got really irritated. So Tom shook his brother up and told about his problem. After hearing continuous groaning from Tom, Sid got worried and he took his clothes and went down to call Aunt Polly. He told everything that happened to Aunt Polly. And on Polly, she fled upstairs with Mary and Sid. On Polly fled upstairs. Her face grew white. She was nervous and lip trembled. She was really worried about Tom, but she knew about Tom really well. Tom always would do this, and she reached Tom and said, "Tom, Tom, what's the matter with you?" Oh, auntie, I'm dying. What's the matter? What's the matter with you, child? Oh, auntie, my toe is rotten. It is completely decayed. And after seeing Tom's tremendous acting, the old lady sat down into a chair and laughed a little. She laughed a little, then cried a little, and then she did both together. She laughed and cried for a little. She clearly found it out that he had no pain in his toe and he was just acting. She got mad. She stood up and said, "Tom, now shut the nonsense and get out of here." Do you know what happened next? There was a pin drop silence and the pain in Tom's toe was completely disappeared. There was no pain now. Tom felt a little foolish and said, "Aunt Polly, it seemed mortified and it hurt a lot. You know what? I never minded my tooth at all." Tom has accidentally said about his tooth problem. What is going to happen now? Your tooth? What's the matter with your tooth? One of them is really loose and it aches a lot. Dad, Dad, now open your mouth and show me that tooth. Well, your teeth is loose, but you are not going to die about that. Mary, give me a silk thread and a chunk of fire out of the kitchen. Give me a silk thread and a chunk of fire out of the kitchen. 
Aunt Polly asked Mary to get fire and a silk thread. Yes, she is going to pull that tooth out. It is going to be really painful for Tom. Tom was so afraid. He said, Oh, please don't, Auntie, don't pull it out. I don't have pain now. The pain is gone. I never would say even if I had pain. Oh, please don't, Auntie. I don't want to stay home. I want to go to school. Aunt Polly has found it out. The entire act was to stay home. Aunt Polly said, Oh, you don't, dear, don't you? So, all this row, all this act was because you thought you would get to stay home and go up fishing. So this entire act was to stay home and to go for fishing. Tom, Tom, I love you so much dear. But you are trying everything you can to break my heart with your mischievous acts. Mary brought the silk thread and a chunk of fire. And Aunt Polly was ready to pull the teeth out. Aunt Polly tied one end of the silk thread to Tom's tooth and the other end to the bedpost. One end of the silk thread was tied to Tom's tooth and other end to the bedpost. Now, Aunt Polly got the chunk of fire. Got the chunk of fire closer to Tom's face. Tom was afraid and pulled himself out. Tooth was hanging on the bedpost. Now, Tom had no idea. His only choice is to go to school. We all know it really well. All sufferings bring their rewards. The suffering of tooth being pulled out had its own reward. Tom had his breakfast and went to school. And that every boy he met became jealous of him. They were jealous of Tom Sawyer because the gap in his upper row of teeth allowed him to spit. He was spitting in a new and attractive way. Spit in a new and attractive way. So, every boy he met, they became jealous of him. And that's the happy end of our story. I hope you have understood it really well. Thank you for watching this video.